okay so now in this video we're gonna visualize our waypoints okay for that in the editor folder create a new c-sharp script let's name this one as waypoint editor okay then let's open this up and right here at the top first of all we gonna ensure that this class is initialized when the unity editor is loaded and in order to do that right here at the top you need to type initialize on load then after this we are gonna specify that the on row scene gizmo method should be called to draw gizmos in the scene view okay so right here we are gonna say draw gizmo and then we are gonna say gizmo type dot non-selected then gizmo type dot selected and also if the gizmo type is dot pickable okay so after this we're gonna say public static void on draw scene gizmos then right here pass waypoint waypoint and then gizmo type and then gizmo type okay so this will be the two things it will require now in here first of all let's set the gizmo color based on selection status okay so if the selection uh, status is selected then we're gonna color our uh, waypoint as blue okay so in order to do that right here type gizmo type and gizmo type dot selected is not equals to zero then we're gonna set the gizmos dot color to color dot blue okay and guys before moving any further make sure that from this uh, class you remove mono behavior and at the top you need to type this same thing using unity editor okay and also this is not gizmos it is just gizmo type and right here as well remove that as okay so let's continue our work now if the if the waypoint is not selected then we're gonna set the gizmo color to a uh, uh, transparent a little bit transparent blue okay so for that we can just simply say gizmo dot color and this is gonna be equals to color dot blue let's multiply this by 0 0.5 okay then after this we are gonna draw a sphere at the waypoint position with a radius of uh, 0 0.2 okay so, or 0 0.1 whatever you like so i'm gonna say gizmos dot draw sphere and that sphere as i told you will be around the waypoint dot transform dot position and let's make it 0 0.1 or let's make it 0 0.5 then if you save the script get back right here now if you click on create waypoint as you can see 
it created this waypoint and as you can see there is this sphere okay you can increase its uh, whole width if you want but i will leave this as 0 0.5 okay and as you can see when it is selected it is fully blue and when it is not selected it is a transparent type of blue okay so it is working perfectly fine after this what we gonna do is we're gonna reset gizmo color to white and draw a line representing the width of the waypoint so first of all we're gonna say gizmo gizmos dot color equals to color dot white okay and after this we're gonna say gizmos dot draw line and in here we're gonna say let's actually move it like right this okay and now in here uh, we want to show the width of the waypoint so we're gonna say transform dot position plus okay first of all we want to uh, uh, show the width on the left and uh, right side so let's start from the uh, right side so we're gonna say plus waypoint dot transform dot right multiply that by the waypoint dot waypoint width and let's divide that by two okay now let's do it on the left side so I'm going to copy and paste that, change this from plus to minus because we can't use the left word and everything else will be the same. But right here you need to remove the semicolons and add this one right there, okay? Now if you save the script, get back right here, create a new waypoint. As you can see, this is the waypoint and this is the width of the waypoint as you can see. And if you click on inspector and try decreasing the width, as you can see, the width of the waypoint decreases, okay? And also let me tell you that whenever we create a waypoint inside the waypoint origin, it takes its forward vector. And as you can see, the forward vector of this waypoint is in that direction, okay? So it is my uh, tip or advice to you that when you create a waypoint origin, okay, then make sure that its forward vector is in the forward direction of the track, okay? So our track forward direction is in this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it on 90. And now as you can see the forward vector is in that direction. Now if you go ahead and create a new waypoint as you can see the newly created waypoint is in the forward direction as well automatically. Alright, now uh, let me tell you what we will do next is let me create few waypoints and let's move them. Okay, so 0, 1, this is going to be 2, this one is going to be 3, and then move the fourth one right there, okay? So now, we need to connect these waypoints, okay? I mean, they are connected, but we need to show the lines from uh, next waypoint to the previous waypoint, okay? We want to show that connection. So... Right after this, let's draw a line from the previous waypoint to the current waypoint if there is a previous waypoint, okay? So, we're going to say waypoint dot previous waypoint if it is not null, then we're going to say gizmos dot color and let's color our previous waypoint as red. You can color this whatever you want then after this we're going to calculate offset to ensure the line is drawn correctly between the waypoints okay so we're going to say vector 3 offset equals to waypoint dot transform dot right let's multiply that by the waypoint dot waypoint width let's divide that by 2 then after this we're gonna say vector 3 offset 2 and the offset 2 will be 
waypoint dot previous waypoint dot transform dot write and then we're gonna say waypoint dot previous waypoint dot waypoint width let's divide that by two then let's draw the line so we're gonna say gizmos dot draw line and in here I'm gonna type waypoint dot transform dot position plus offset waypoint dot previous waypoint dot transform dot position plus offset 2 okay now let's draw a line from the next waypoint to the current waypoint okay and how we will do that we're going to do that as the same as we did for the previous waypoint so i'm going to copy this whole thing paste it down below and now change this from previous to next waypoint we're gonna color the next waypoint as green and right here we're gonna save a point or transform dot right and right here we're gonna use the minus sign okay and right here as well and we're gonna change this to from previous to next waypoint and right here as well okay and right here as well I think we are good to go now okay if we save the script get back right here and now as you can see we have the connections already set up okay so as you can see the uh, waypoint one previous is zero so as you can see this is the connection and the waypoint zero next waypoint is one so as you can see green line is right there okay because we are showing the next waypoint on the left side and the previous waypoint on the right side okay so you can see these connections and guys make sure that your gizmos is turned on because if it is turned off you're not going to see these uh, things okay so now our waypoint system is done in the next video we're gonna create waypoints on our whole track if you want to do it by your own self then go ahead and do it cover this whole track with these waypoints and then after that we're gonna create our opponent ai